Thank you and, and, and welcome. Welcome to the Four Winners Podcast where it's nothing, nothing but wax free nipples. Uh, Mur, uh, word on the street is, and by the street we mean you told us that um, you gave your mom the axe on, on Facebook. And I don't mean axe body spray, I mean the fucking, the fucking chop. Yeah, no, well, I mean, I look. And, and all I got back from you was, and I didn't know how to take that. Um, no, here's the bottom line. Uh, my mom is an older lady. She's approaching 70 years old. And I'm not saying she doesn't know how to use Facebook, but she certainly doesn't use it the way I believe that Facebook was intended. And, you know, with the whole pandemic thing going on right now, I don't need all the stupid fucking memes and the thises and the thats. And I told her, I warned her. Here's the thing. I warned her. I said, listen, every day I've got to get up and I still have to go to work and I have to face this invisible demon, the invisible enemy. I was like, I don't need all your stupid little, like, your little aha Facebook memes. And she just kept doing them and doing them and doing them. And finally it was like, oh, Dr. Anthony Fauci gave, finally gave Trump a mask to help save all of America. It's Trump with duct tape over his face. I'm like, all right, we're done here. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I warned her three separate times. I said, please stop doing this. It is not helpful. And I don't care what side of the political fence that you sit on, okay? It's just, it's, un, it's not helpful. It's not necessary. She kept putting up different, uh, like, articles. And I always tell her, I say, hey, what's the URL on that particular article that you're uh, referencing as a factual source? I don't know. UB4129.gov. Like, no, it's not. It's not that. Have you ever heard of that website? Who's the source on that? I don't know. I just saw it and posted it. And so, yeah, I had to give her the ax. The Onion. <clears throat> the Onion, uh, one of the most credible sources uh, in all the intraweb. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm typically of the... Of the of the mind just unsubscribe. But Alan, have you had any um any yeah, close calls with with family? Uh, not well. My mom's uh my mom is a is a big is a big Trump supporter, uh, which boggles the mind, quite frankly. But either way, uh, sometimes like I've had to unfollow her. Well, yeah, like I'd have to like snoo- uh, what is it? Facebook? You can like snooze them for thirty days. I have to be like, man, I need a break. I can't be, I can't be doing that shit. Uh, uh, and like, she's, she turned 70 this year, as a matter of fact. Uh, so yeah, like I've definitely, she's like needed help with her phones before and like, like her phone before and it's an iPhone. And so I kind of only half know how to use it cause it, it doesn't compute in my Android brain. Uh, but every now and then I'll get on there and I'll see like some Trump emails and I'll, I'll like route them to spam just for shits and giggles. Uh, <laughs> That's just but, evil. No, but no, other than that, like other than that, no, nah, not really. There have been just some, like not family at least. There are just some, some random Facebook people. I'm like, mm, I don't even know you. I don't know how you got here, but yeah, we're not friends anymore. Yeah. There's a, there's certainly like a, uh, so your social distancing there's a social cleansing of uh oh man god what what there's no added benefit to being your friend uh <clears throat> watching your shit posts every day watching you tell stories about your children three or four times a day uh, i mean unsubscribe is easy uh and, yeah. and somewhat fulfilling but i think the full-on unfriending sometimes really just you know uh, gives you an erection makes you want to pop open some brandy I, I, I felt like this weight lifted off of me because the other thing is I feel as though because she's there, even though I'm a 40-year-old man, I feel handcuffed by the things that I want to post on my own page because my mom's going to see it, you know? I, like, we don't have that type of relationship. I know there's a lot of people, well, my mom's my best friend. Bullshit. My mom's my mom, okay? My dad is my dad. My mom is my mom. We're not friends. We have a very you know, father, son, mother, son relationship. And I, I'm just like, I, 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 it was getting to a point where I was going to start embarrassing her the way I would embarrass one of you if you put a shit post up. And I was like, I, no, that's going to be crossing a line. We're not friends. So guess what? We're not even Facebook friends anymore. So goodbye. So long. Farewell. Because I've gotten in arguments with people who complain about their Facebook friends. And I always say, 
They're your friends, right? Well, they're just Facebook. They're your friends, right? Well, they're just Facebook. For yes, but Facebook classifies them as friends and you have accepted that friendship. So you reap what you sell. So I decided to take my own advice and snip her off. Trim some fat. Trim some fat. But I very cowardly have not told her that I've done this yet. So I don't even <laughs> think she realizes it. She's, she's going to go looking for some pictures of, uh, of the grand boy and wonder what the fuck's going on. You don't announce that kind of thing, I don't think. I mean, wh why would you tell her? I, well, I feel like I have to because, again, you know, the whole mother-son guilt thing is going to start to uh, rear its head eventually. And I also don't feel like I will have fully proven my point until I make her aware of the situation. Because uh, she stumbles across it. And she's like, I don't know that she will. Cause be and honestly, because of her, I don't post. Like, I don't post things on Facebook because I don't want, I don't want her shameful gaze. Uh, directed in my general vicinity so i i don't really post anything anymore and like i said now i feel like this weight has been lifted and i might start i might just let my freak flag start to fly a little bit that's right we're gonna see a whole new andrew quarantined up uh, uh shooting a rap about things i had i want to get your opinion on this now i have a friend facebook friend uh someone who i would categorize as a uh <clears throat> more than acquaintance not necessarily friend friend um but this particular person posts so much about their child and I get it. You're, you're proud. And I, I'm not knocking people that, that, that do it, but I think that there comes a limit, not only that there comes a limit, but there comes uh, a certain amount of <clears throat> a certain amount that a person can take that has to watch this through their newsfeed of the shit stories that you tell about, about some conversation you had in the car where your child said some odd fucking thing or how your, your son hit a ball 12 feet off, off this, this lazy changeup that you threw with a wiffle ball. It went on and on and on and on and on. And I, I <clears throat> told a, a group of friend of mine's, uh, uh, friends of mine, real friends, friends that I speak with on a daily basis, that I said, every time this person posts, I'm going to say, uh, looks like he shit himself. Uh, <laughs> Do you think that's a one-way ticket to getting myself kicked off his friends list? Looks like he pooped his pants or looked like he crapped his pants. Looked like he shit himself. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That's your right to do. And I, I, I fully support that. Like, if, if that's your antidote for hating what they post, then I say go for it. But then if they defriend you, I, I don't know. It's, a, it's kind of passive-aggressive because you could – Either unfollow them so you, or block them or whatever. They can still be your friend, but blocked. Or you could literally shit post on their kid's post and, and see what comes of it. Well, I think it was more of a passive aggressive approach to <clears throat> telling him without telling him that it was, it was overboard. What, what, what he was doing was just too, too much. I worked to get the kick out of it. Do it. You should yeah. do it. <laughs> I did it once. <laughs> you should just keep doing it just keep going oh. yeah because i think it's hilarious that's the only reason and you're putting the ball in their court if they you know what i mean like if you're annoying them as much as they're annoying you then you could it's it becomes kind of like a mexican standoff you know and just see who fires first so yeah i say go for it but again this whole i i did try to take a dose of my own medicine with my own mother saying like if i'm annoyed by this person they don't have to be my friend like it's not like if it's somebody that you don't feel like you would hang out with based on just what they're putting on the virtual world, then you probably wouldn't hang out with them in the real world. So just, it's okay to get, to let people go. Sometimes you have to. Properly vet. Yeah. I, you know, and a, a good friend of mine, a good friend of Alan's, Don said one of the greatest things about it. He said, you know, it gives everyone a voice and maybe some people don't deserve a voice. hundred <laughs> percent. That yeah. is correct. Yeah. yeah. That's absolutely right. I do feel like what social media does is it does expose the amount of stupid people there are in the world. Cause there are certain like uh, accounts uh, like, like Twitter's a better example of, of this. It's like, there are some certain brilliant people out there that don't post things often, but when they do, they're super impactful. So they, 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 they're, they have a very meek voice. It's very powerful when it speaks. And then you have the other 95% that are just, just loathsome morons, mouth breathers, and they have an outlet. And I guess, thankfully, in the past, they would just be the village idiot you could avoid. But now they're the global moron that punches you in the face. Yeah, I, go ahead. Alan, go no, it's just, it's just fascinating. 
I, I do think um, one of the other things, uh, and this is not a humorous point, but Obama said it, and this is before his term ended. He said, anyone who gets their news strictly from Facebook, the problem with that is that the algorithm that's being created that of, of, of news links that you click on is just going to continue to reaffirm your biases with news that you want to see. Ah, oh, I, I feel this way. I click on this. This is the, this is the shit. It's trash in, trash out. Well, that and I usually and, and the, the problem, the problem too. again, it is the algorithm and the algorithm has no concern for your feelings. It's just we generally get pissed off with something like bullshit. And then you click it, and you look at it and all you're doing is breeding more things that you hate to fill up the thing that you're supposed to love. We don't go looking for puppies, but we go all oh, when we see them. But that's not the thing that we're fascinated by. We're fascinated by the things that we are against and the things that we hate and then we keep clicking those things and then more of them pop up and we keep clicking and it's just a it's a downward spiral of bullshit and we all have to swim in it yeah that and the, the goddamn algorithm it keeps assuming i want penis pills i don't know what's that all what that extends i never bought them never needed them never tried them except once in college when i thought it was something else like, <laughs> <laughs> what'd you what do you think it was i don't know adderall or something Oh. <laughs> well, either way, you were up all night. <laughs> I didn't ask any questions. <laughs> so there's a very, very poor screening process for things that went into the body at that age. 